Ooh, how exciting. Takeaway Tuesday. Thank you for joining me, and we are doing something fancy today. I don't know about you, but I am loving the fun something fancy bundle. And of anything, you know what? If you don't get the, the stamp set, definitely, definitely pick up the dies. They are definitely worth it. Today we're going to be making a card using um, old olive and some ver two pieces of very vanilla. Now, if I forgot one, I do totally apologize. Um, if you need one for the inside, which is four inches by five and one quarter. So I do try and make sure everything's packed, uh, but sometimes I do forget and I, I totally do apologize. I'm going to be using the Evening Evergreen ink pad. And with this is this silver kind of, looks like spiderweb ribbon. When I first saw it, I was not in love with it. But you know what? Since using these on some of the cards lately, I am such a true believer on this. So that's one trick about stamping up. Even though it may look kind of off to you in the catalog, pick it up. Yeah, especially if it's a, like a ribbon or a paper, pick it up and see what you can uh, make with it. So with the paper, um, paper shares are a great way to get a little bit of everything. And I strongly suggest joining a paper share if there's one coming up. I will be having one in May, so you want to grab that. Um, this way you get a little bit of everything. Um, and, and it's not a huge investment. I put out all the investment and you just take a little portion. Same like the ribbon. If you see a ribbon, you know what? Maybe I should do a ribbon share too. That might be interesting. Anyways, enough about the talking. Let's get started. So what I'm going to do is we have um, this cardstock. And what we're going to do is just cut it in. Um, not cut it. We're going to score it in half. Don't cut it. That would be bad. You don't want to cut it. We're going to score this in half at four and one quarter. Pretty simple there. Now don't put away your trimmer yet because the piece of cardstock what we're going to do is we are actually going to angle cut this. So I'm going to take this piece and I am just going to kind of offset it, not from the straight from the corner, but I'm going to put it on an angle and I am just going to cut in half. I just cut off the top part. So I got the top part and then I have the bottom part and you see there's a little bit of the top still there. That's all that we need. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm taking my very vanilla and I'm going to place it on here just to get an idea because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stamp my sentiment right about there in this area. I'm just going to cover that up. There we go. And I'm going to stamp that in Evening Evergreen. So I'm just going to kind of place that on the cardstock by itself. And actually, I think this is going to make a really nice sympathy card. And this has, with deepest sympathy, some great um, uh, uh, font for that. And I'm just going to use that. Okay. I'm going to use that. I'm going to place that on a block. And I think this would make a great sympathy card. Whoop. And because it's kind of uh, very low in the tone, and I think it's not, you know, I don't think it'd be really good. And sadly, we sometimes have to make sympathy cards. So I'm gonna, just going to eyeball it, and I'm going to stamp it. And if there's a mistake, I can flip this over, and I can do it on the other side. So that looks good. That evening evergreen turned out really nice. I think it pulls very nicely in with the designer series paper. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of ribbon and I'm going to get an idea on how far it goes over. And I'm going to cut that in half. Oops. And I'm actually going to fold it. And I'm going to tuck it under and glue it on the back side of this piece of angled cardstock. So I'm going to add a piece of adhesive right across. I'm going to fold this up and because it is kind of like spider webby, it is going to stick very well. And I want to make sure all the pieces are sticking on there. Okay, there we go. It kind of overhangs a little bit. So I'm just going to snip that piece off. 
okay, on each side. That's why we didn't need much. And I'm actually going to use this for something else, so I'm not going to keep that. And I'm going to place this on here just like that. Okay, so let's glue that down. Make sure where the spider web ribbon is, and we're going to glue that down. With the rest of the ribbon, what I could do if I really want, see there's enough left over, I can kind of fold it, and I can make a bow if I want. So let's try and make a bow and see if that's what I want to add to the front of the card. There should be enough left over. There we go. And I could see, you know what, that is actually going to look really nice down in the corner. So I think I'm going to add a couple of pieces of, I like to call it convincing dots, but they are little uh, glue dots. I like to call them convincing dots. I like them to convince them where they want to stay. So I'm going to add two or three of those little dots. So I'm just kind of afraid that it's going to move around because it's kind of thin. I just want to make sure it's got a well good spot to um, to adhere to. And I'm just going to put that little bow on there. I love how this kind of kind of flows over, and it's not a very heavy bow, and I think it's going to look really nice. And I'm going to keep this kind of a little long. I love it. Kind of adds a little bit of dimension to it. Now, that with that being done, I can now add this to my card base. And I'm just going to add some adhesive and place it on the front. That is looking absolutely beautiful. Now, let's add a little bit of an embellishment on there. You know what? I don't need too many because it's a sympathy card. I'm just going to add one. And for the inside, remember we had that leftover piece that's angled. I'm going to glue this, oh, that piece of ribbon. And I am going to not put the whole thing on. I'm going to add just a little bit so that it clears it. And all I need to do actually is just snip off whatever is overhanging. So I don't need a lot, okay? snip off what's overhanging and it adds a little bit of design to the inside of the card. Okay. Let's get that so it's not too, oh there we go, shiny. There we go and I'm going to place that on the inside of the card. Oh, Got ribbon everywhere and there we go. So it adds a little bit of design to the inside. Now if you want you can always stamp a sentiment and there we go. We have a beautiful, very simple sympathy card that is fantastic. I just love the sentiments that are found in this stamp set. So don't forget, take a look at the something fancy. All right, so there we go. If you have any questions, drop me an email at northernstamper at gmail.com. Until next time, my friends, I will see you next Tuesday.